we're going to be doing a recipe for Parmesan Wicked Wings. That's the name that I gave it. Par What up, FYB fam? I am Todrick FYB Fit. The FYB stands for Forgive Your Body. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am back with another recipe. We're gonna be cooking it up in the air fryer today. We're gonna do something a little different. So we're gonna be using this bad baby here, the air fryer oven, all right? And the recipe that we're gonna be using is, I call it the Parmesan wicked wings recipe the wings are wicked good i'm telling you they are super delicious all right so let's do it let's get into the video not the video let's get into the recipe you yeah. all right so let's get into the recipe in front of me i have a pound of drumettes this is what we're going to be using a pound of drumettes all right thaw it out now the recipe that I'm going to be using is for one pound of wings or drumettes. Um, but if you're cooking more, like for a family, you're doing three or four pounds, just do everything that I do in this recipe times that many. So this is for one pound. If you're doing two pounds, do the mixture recipe times two. All right. So you get the picture. All right. So we got a pound of wings. Okay. We also have sea salt. I'll just show you this. So we're going to be using sea salt. All right. Sea salt. We're going to be using oregano. We're going to be using parsley flakes. We're going to be using minced garlic. All right. Minced garlic. We're going to be using black pepper or peppercorn medley has black pepper in it. If you don't have that medley, you can use black pepper. And we're going to be using butter. All right. I just got a stick of butter, butter, which is if you cannot have regular butter, there are plenty of substitutes. You can, they have like, I can't believe it's not butter. They have smart balance. And the list goes on and on and on. So if you can't use regular butter, I know in my last recipe when I did the hibachi grill, um, some people said, what if they can't eat butter? There are plenty of different substitutes you can use, okay? So find what works for your diet. Also, we have olive oil. And I'll show you why we'll be using the olive oil. So I have it in the olive oil sprayer. Um, I got this little handy dandy thing off Amazon, all right? First thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna remove these, voila. All right, so here I have a half a cup of melted butter. All right, half a cup of melted butter. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I have one teaspoon of minced garlic, I'm gonna put that in there and we're gonna stir it up. All right. Guess I could have melted this a little bit more, but hey, it's good enough for me. All right. So we stir it up, mix it up really good, and we're gonna set that to the side. All right. I know y'all probably say, he says, all right, a lot. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we have one cup of Parmesan grated cheese, all right? Let's slide this over. It looks like the lighting is better over this way. Okay, yeah, there we go. All right, so one cup Parmesan cheese, all right? Put that in there. The next thing we're gonna do is we have two tablespoons of parsley flakes 
The next one tablespoon of dried oregano. All right, dried oregano. Next we have two tablespoons of paprika. All right, two tablespoons. Put that in there. And we have here one teaspoon of sea salt. And we're gonna grind up one teaspoon of black pepper. You want to mix that up. Make sure it blends really well. Mix that up. Oh, nice. Make sure it's very well blended. All right. This is what we're going to use to coat the chicken. This is going to be like our breader. But there's no breader. And these wings are low carb. All right. And it's just going to be. It's gonna taste just like fried wings. It's gonna be super good, oh my God. I made some the other day. They were so delicious. Like delicious, delicious. Two times, delicious, two times. Hey yo, delicious! <laughs> All right, so we're gonna mix that up. What we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna bring the butter over here. Let me bring the butter to this side so you can actually see. All right, what we're gonna do. So this is the rack that we have, all right? We're gonna put this in the oven, in the air fryer oven. So the first thing you wanna do is spray the rack with non-stick olive oil, or if you have Pam or anything like that, you can spray the rack. Also, this recipe, you also can make this in the oven. So I'll put the directions of how to do it in the oven as well, like the, uh, the temperature of the oven, what type of, uh, all you need is a baking rack, a baking pan with a rack on it, and you put these in the oven and do the same thing I'm doing if you don't have an air fryer. All right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray that. I know you can't see it, but I'm just spraying it off to the side. All right, so I sprayed the oven rack, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take the wings, all right. Take the wings. I'm gonna dip them in the butter sauce. So when you dip them in there, make sure you coat it really well. Alright. And we're gonna put it in there. Get a nice little coat. Alright. I'll show you what I'm doing. And we're gonna place them on the rack. That's what I'm doing with the rack over here. Okay, grab another wing. Roll that in there. It's a butter rub or a butter bath. You can give it a butter bath. Put it like that. All right, both sides. Coat it really good. Shake off the excess. I'm gonna put that on the rack. And just repeat the process. the process. I'm going to pause the video. I know you don't want to see me roll up every one of these, so hold on. Rub it up there. In the tube. Alright, I have one more after this. That's it. So I did about a pound of wings. Yep. A little extra. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take this handy dandy thing here. Pump that. 
and we're gonna spray both sides of the chicken wings, all right? And that's because we don't want them to stick stick to the um, to the rack, like the breader. We don't want the breader to be super sticky on the rack and not on the chicken. Also, it'll put a like a little crispy coat over it. All right, so let's spray those. All right, so we're gonna flip them and we're gonna spray the other side, okay? All right, so now we're gonna spray this side. I'm gonna wash my hands. A little gap right now with the filling. We don't have to do that, but I want to do it. All right, give us this word. All right, I'm gonna pop that again. Spray, yeah. All right, so we are done. Now we are about to move over to the air fryer. Pause. Before we put these in the air fryer, I guess I should bring these up so you can see how nicely battered they are. Nicely battered. What you think? You gonna do a good job? All right. Okay, we're at 15 minutes. So we're about to take these bad boys out and flip them over. All right, so we're about to flip these bad babies over. Hopefully they're not sticking. Not too bad, okay. Not too bad at all. Sticking just a little bit. Yeah, dang it. That's all. They're still going to be delicious. This rack is hot. Let's see if I can flip them with that. Back. All right, so not all of them are sticky. They are super hot. <laughs> Eat a tongue. All right. Yep. So just some of them I didn't really coat too good. But they're still going to be so delicious. Come on, buddy. There you go. Now, if you wanted to, you could add, you know, a little bit more like on those areas if you wanted to. But I actually threw the batter away, so I should have just coated this side more. They're still gonna be good. Not all of them are like that. All right. All right. So we're gonna put these back in the air fryer to cook the other side. And I'll see you back in 15 minutes. All right. All right. So the wings are done. I want you to check out these bad babies. And then we're gonna plate them. Look at that. Delicious. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice and crispy. All right, so I'm gonna plate them. Now, if you're gonna uh, use this recipe, please make sure to spray olive oil on both sides. <laughs> Enough olive oil so they won't stick to the pan. Uh, also, if you have a baking pan, 
and a rack. You can do this in the oven as well. All right, so I'm about to plate the wings and then I'm about to, I'm about to dig in. As a matter of fact, I ain't gonna be too selfish. Before I dig in, I'm gonna let you dig in. There you go. Nice and crispy. Look at that. Look at that. Ah. Nice and crispy. Y'all take a bite out. I can't wait. Hold on. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Oh, so good. Juicy on the inside. Hold on. Mmm. 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 It's perfect. Oh my god, this is so good. Sorry. Whew. Man, those are good. All right. If you haven't done so, Please like the video. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. I'm telling you, these wings are delicious. Again, you could cook them in the oven if you don't have an oven air fryer or a regular air fryer. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Please help and support the channel. Help me to grow this channel. My goal is to inspire and aspire one million people to choose a healthier lifestyle. So I'm going to serve this up with some ranch, okay? All right. And remember, a fit body begins with forgiveness. And to forgive your body is to forgive yourself. All right. Now let me plate these. Be right back. And there we have it. Ooh, excuse me. So wings are plated. Got a side of ranch. Let me bring that up some. Sorry for the noise. Oh yeah. It doesn't that look delicious? Oh my god. Look at that. Look at those wings. Delicious. Alright? Alright, you gotta try this recipe. And let me know after you tried this recipe if you enjoyed the wings or not. Leave it in the comment. Alright? Please engage with the channel, support the channel, like, comment, subscribe. Again, these are Parmesan Wicked Wings by Todrick FYB Fit. All right? My name is Todrick, and I am FYB Fit. Forgive your body. I am FYB Fit. Forgive your body. Ah.